Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. So for today's app review, since um, summer I started and everyone during this time wants to get back into fitness, uh, look good on the beach and all of that sort of thing, but it's always hard to find the time. I know for myself, it's the same thing. I often wake up late, after work I might end late and I don't really want to go to the gym, but I want to get some fitness in and just generally move so I feel a little bit better, especially in the morning, just to start off the day on the right foot. So recently I heard about an app called 7 Minute Workout and what this does is it does a variety of different um, exercise um, routines that you can do at home with no um, extra equipment that you need to buy but to get your, to work up a slight sweat, um, do a different couple of different motions and get yourself moving and hopefully uh, lose some weight and look good at the same time. Um, it does say that it will get you into that perfect body shape and all of that is perfectly good for you. So I'm not going to necessarily say that that is a valid claim, but I will say with moving, it will help you over time. So, and I kind of like it. It's a good way to, even if you're at the gym and you want to do a variety of different exercises and need some guidance, then this may, may be the way to go. So um, the app is available for Google. It's available for free with ads or paid without ads. Um, the first thing to do though is when you open up the app is to go into settings and um, to and set how many times you want to repeat it. So if you want to do a set once, twice, up to six times, you can set it there. So for me, it's I'll just set it at once. So I do all workouts once in seven minutes. It's done. Um, you can set how long each uh, workout is set to last. Um, so each set is or the default is 30 seconds per um, activity and then a 10 minute br or sorry 10 second break in between but as you can see you can set it from 10 to 60 seconds so maybe you want to do a little bit longer workout so you'll see you can set it let's say up to 60 seconds and let's say I want to do 45 seconds and then let's say you need a little bit extra break because you're new or you just need that extra time to uh, cool down a little bit between sets or you would want need a little bit of extra time to set up between sets so maybe instead of 10 seconds you might need 20 seconds instead so you can do that um, and then you can set the countdown time so how uh, soon between uh, sets you start so let's say 15 seconds that sounds like a good amount of time and then you can set turn audio on and off so if you have your headphones on and your phone in your pocket and you know what the exercise is you can have it read back to you what the activity is and then you can set voice options, so um, you you can use your the Google speech to text or text to speech engine um, to set the voice style. So if you have thirty party apps, I'm assuming it works. And then if you want a different voice, um, you can set the voice, or if you want a different language, you can set mm -hmm. the language. And then you can download additional languages if you want. Um, the thing that I like about this app is that it also syncs with Google Fit. So if you have Google Fit installed on your Android device, so for example, for your step counter or running counter, then you can, you'll see that information there as well. So it all stays in sync with your Google account. So definitely a plus for me there. Um, you can also set reminders for how often to um, remind you and when to remind you. So if you want a reminder first thing in the morning or if you want to do it after work, let's say at 7 o'clock every day, then you can do that as well. And even if you don't want a reminder, let's say on the weekends or on certain days because you know you're not going to be working out or if you want to set one day as your rest day, then um, you can do that as well. And then there's a form you can share the app with, as well with friends. If you want to keep the screen on while you're doing the workout so you have your visual guidance as well that is also an option um so with the workout itself you have a couple of different workouts so far so far all i've um, done is the classic workout um, you can see the instructions on what it does and get videos as well so you can see there's jumping jacks so if you want a video it'll launch on um, youtube and same thing like wall says push-ups um, sit-ups chair steps and all that so you have a couple of different things you can go through um this it also gives you a breakdown of what the seven minute workout includes so you know what's kind of going on the benefits of it the why it's in that particular order why there's 13 workouts and all of that um you also have an ab workout so if you want to uh, lessen the amount of the size of your stomach then it has um, exercises based on that your um, butt as well legs um, as well so if you want to even um alternate what you do every day so if you want your classic and then you want to 
do um, a variety of different routines throughout the week. So even if you want to do um, four separate workouts of the week, so let's say Monday through Thursday, then you can have those vari- that variety there. And then if you need more cardio, you can do more cardio or alternate other workouts based on what you have done here. Um, and then it's as simple as just hitting start. You can get a countdown. If you need to see a video of what something is, because it's not familiar to you or you want a good posture, then you can see that video um, before you even get into starting the app, the exercise itself. So that way um, you have uh, just a better, more further visual guide and better uh, background on what that exercise is. And then if you want to skip that particular exercise because it's something you can't do or you don't want to do it at the time, you can do that. Touching the screen pauses it. Um, and then hitting the right arrow obviously takes you the, um, to the next exercise. And hitting the back arrow takes you to the previous exercise. Um, so that's really all there is for that. And then if you hit the back arrow, it'll let you quit. And then it automatically saves your workout and then syncs it to um, Google Fit when you have an internet connection. And periodically we'll see it there. So that's really all there is for the app. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, it's safe to use. Um, you can adjust it based on what conditions are work best for you. So if you want a sl- little bit of a slower workout, so you have, so you can work at your own pace. You can obviously set each exercise workout to be sixty seconds rather than the default thirty. Or if you want to go a little bit faster, or you want fast quicker transitions between exercises, then you can do that. Or if you want more of a transition between exercises, so let's say sixty seconds per activity, and then. 45 seconds as a cool down then you can do that as well so you have time to catch your breath and uh, do what you need to do um, as far as the classic workout goes I say that I only only done that so far but all it really requires is a free wall and a chair the chair is for the leg step so you step up on the chair and then you step down up and down and then the wall for the wall sits so you sit as if you're sitting in a chair and there's no chair there and um you do that as a bit of resistance so um pretty straightforward exercise nothing um those are the two that i know of so far and then you can always by using the free version you can poke around the other workouts see what you need see if you can even see if you can do exercises to begin with and go from there so that's seven minute workout it's available for free in google play and if you like the app and you want to get rid of the ads or you want to support the developer you can um, obviously buy it to remove the ads so that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want uh, to see a little bit more in the app, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or DM me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.